My Academia chapter 324 is now out. Obviously, this is the fan translations, but this chapter was very, very consistent and very good to show the relationship between Deku and Ochako. Now, if you are new to the channel and you guys want to see more My Academia content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification or stay notified of our upload. Follow me on Twitter, which will be on the screen right now, and we can get right into this chapter review. Now, last chapter mainly explained UA's defense forces and how they're trying to convince the citizens to let Deku stay in UA. But we already know the citizens had enough of the BS of the heroes and they called them out on it saying to move Deku somewhere else. But Uraka, best girl, is able to try and convince the citizens to let Deku stay and to look at him directly and see that he's hurting inside and that he needs rest and he needs to stay here for that rest. In the first page, Uraka then mentions that she liked when people smiled. It put her smile on her face, but she hates when people look exhausted, for example, her parents, and she hates that. And now is her time to make a stand and try to save Deku from this exhaust. And when Uraka saw heroes, she didn't see or look at the heroes, she looked at the people witnessing them. And now they want them to witness Deku in his current state of mind and look out how frail and how tired he is. And the fox lady or possum lady, whatever you want to call her, remembers Deku and how he saved her from almost getting jumped by a bunch of people from a misunderstanding. And the same person who led the charge of this citizen rebel in the UA, he's just saying, what the hell are you talking about? What does this even mean? Now, obviously, this lady's going to remember Deku because even after he saved her, he didn't stop. He kept fighting for the good fight. He kept fighting no matter what, no matter how much he got, you know, tired, no matter how much he felt like he should have gave up and the person who was starting this whole controversy says you want us to be covered in grinding mud as well and Uraka says shut up in the nicest way saying that the only people that should be shouldering a burden is the heroes Uraka then says that they will pay them back in blood and sweat so please give us time which is pretty true because heroes mainly are saw by the citizens as robots they don't think they have any emotions they don't think that they don't have daily life struggles for example, people like Hawks and All Might, All Might was saw as this statuesque hero who doesn't, you know, go through daily struggles, who doesn't regret the things that he does. And Hawks, for example, when he tried to converse with Twice and tried to say, yo, I'm not trying to kill you, but was forced to do it anyways, and it's still eating away at him because his words meant nothing because he wasn't able to save Twice from himself. For example, heroes like Lane Nagant wasn't trying to stay static from the system that looked broken from the inside and out. So she killed her boss and was able to rebel and she was seen as a criminal. Now Uraka just wants to see everyone smile and make it out okay and right now she is doing her best to convince the citizens saying that they're just as frightened as her and yes the heroes that are look statuesque and don't really feel emotion from the citizens view yes they feel fear. Uraka acknowledges that Deku continued down this path without stoppage while rest just to make everyone smile and put an end to the League of Villains. And she just yells out that we're all under the same circumstances. And then we see when heroes are in pain, we finally get to see what happens to Aizawa. And he's still in the hospital. Of course, he cut off his leg. And I'm pretty sure he lost an eye. I may be wrong. Correct me in the comments. But we see all the heroes. Best Genus, Endeavor, Hawks. We see Bakugo. We see everyone else. And we see a flashback with Uraka, a kid Uraka, watching a hero called Eel Man defeat a villain. And then she says... When the hero needs saving, we save the heroes. Uraka then yells out again that that's why I want your full cooperation so we can all smile together tomorrow. And now Uraka finally recognizes her mistake when she was talking or, you know, quote unquote, fighting with Toga. It's because Uraka ignored her feelings. And not only that, Uraka prioritized her mission as a hero. Toga wanted to know what was going to happen to her. Would she get the same treatment as twice, which Hawks brutally murdered him? Or will she be treated as a human being of society? And now Uraka recognizes her mistake. Uraka pleads with the citizen saying that, please just let him rest here and let him recuperate. Is that too much to ask for? And she's asking the right questions. Like, why is that too much to ask for? A 17 or 16 year old boy is asking for help. Well, he needs help mostly, but the citizens knowing they're in the wrong state of mind will not allow this. Uraka then continues on saying that Izuku carried this whole burden on his powers on his own and he's still got a lot more to learn but he's just an ordinary high schooler. He can only do so much for society as of right now. But, 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 but 
Nobody fucking cares. Why are you telling everyone like they fucking ask? Is this a classroom? I don't see a teacher. Baraka then cuts off the citizen and says, let him stay here. And she just yells it out in the microphone. And I gotta say, claps to Baraka for standing your ground against these toxic citizens. And the citizen that basically got their whole life changed around after the League of Villains, quote unquote, won the war. Now, obviously, the shit between Deku and Ochako, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care as long as it's legal and as long as you ain't shoving it in my face and trying to say, yeah, it's canon. Yeah, as long as you ain't saying that, I don't really care. But I feel like this right here has been set up ever since My Academia began. Barack was the first friend Deku ever had in UA, and she's been the one rooting for Deku and wanting to be like Deku ever since. And her motivation to getting money to help her family and to becoming a hero that can be successful and a hero that can save people with a smile comes from Deku and you just gotta enjoy that. I also thought that Baraka has been missing some stuff to her character, but I feel like she's getting better and better and when the chapters drop. And we get a narration from a much older Deku saying, this is how I became the greatest hero. And we see flashbacks with everything him and Ochako has been through. And I think this is not only how he became the greatest hero, this is how he bagged himself a good ass wife. Baraka then yells out the top of her lungs, please let Deku stay at the Hero Academia. And Deku falls to his knees crying. And this is very emotional from Deku's part. That Uraka is sacrificing everything. That she's defending him non-stop. And Deku is very thankful for all of this. And the fox lady or the possum lady basically runs towards Deku. And Nezu's speech continues saying that one step to push humanity past a rocky path. And now we have to see Koda going out and running to Deku as well. And I hope he's running to Deku to spray him with some water because this man needs a shower. Shut your fucking mouth! Koda is not only thankful for Deku because he saved him from muscular, Koda wants to be like Deku, even buying his own shoes when he met Deku. And these guys come in to embrace Deku when he's crying on his knees. And Deku continues saying, this is how I became the greatest hero. And that's where the chapter ends. And I've got to say, Orokoshi has been banging chapters and they've all been pretty damn good. I've got to say, I really enjoyed Uraka's little moment here. I enjoyed that Koda and that giant woman came in to embrace Deku when he needed somebody to embrace him. And I liked how Deku's older narration came back to this story. I got to say, this chapter was probably a solid 9 out of 10. I think it was a completely amazing and so I had to give it a 9. Now, if you do like My Hero Academia content such as theories, chapter reviews, or other types of content for anime and manga, you've come to the right channel, and you should definitely subscribe with the bell notifications if you want to stay notified whenever I upload. It has been The Right Cloak. I'm going to head up out of here, guys. Peace out. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Have a great rest of the day. Stay safe. <laughs>